Hey friendos, how's it going? It's the Enforcer here. Once again, another jersey unboxing video. This one's going to be a twofer here. One of them's going to be from my man Ben H. The other one's an eBay seller that originally wasn't quite so sure about. Got a piece in probably about a year, year and a half from them that made me feel good about what I'm about to open, but I'm going to get to Ben H first. So, um, friendos, Appreciate you checking out the uh, channel here. So we're going to go on and get a two for here. Uh, of course, Ben H. Ben H Sports. Browse his eBay page. Um, and then email him at the email below. Ben.Hugenban at Yahoo.ca Anything you see on his eBay page. Anything you see on there. Email him if you have any interest. He'll save you that 10% that eBay would normally tack onto that sale. He's going to pass that right on to you. And that's how I do business with Ben. Correspondence back and forth. I only use his eBay page as, uh, as browsing. Think of it as if you walk into Best Buy. And they're really just showing you what's up there. But then, you know, if you really want to, you know, uh, uh, you, know you check it out in person and then you start doing your shopping somewhere else but Ben's got you uh, covered because uh, he can save you that 10% that you may be looking somewhere else for he's going to be showcasing it for you and also he's going to be saving it for you so Ben H Sports appreciate you now here's one I wasn't so sure about buying but honestly the way that uh, the friendos and, and uh, Stephen Larson and myself go with the John had to get myself the Canucks one. Had to get myself old John me Canuck. Got to get that one. So let's get to this one right here. This is one like I said I added on late from uh, Ben H. Um, actually, I circled back around. I said, "Hey Ben, you you still got uh, the uh, the Johnny Canuck." He said, yeah, I got you covered. I got you covered. I got it. You need it. You want it. Boom. And I said, yes, sir. I do. And now we're going to unbox this baby right here. So this one here is the Vancouver Canucks Reverse Retro 2.0 with Johnny Canuck. Johnny Canuck skating on by. Look at that. Oh, Johnny Canuck just lumberjacking away. And I can already see the three-dimensionalness of this on his suspenders. That looks absolutely amazing. So what we'll do is, as usual, we'll go in-depth to Vancouver. 1962. John F. Kennedy was our president in 1962. Look at that. I don't know who the prime minister is. Someone in... Someone in the comments section inform me who was the prime minister in 62. Was it the uh, old man Trudeau? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not so up on uh, Canadian politics that go back that far. Um, oh, born on date already. Look, I get, we get a 7. We get a 722. Oh, my. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, striping. This is a uh, this is the cream this is a cream this is not white as I'm sure that you could basically see but I do like that old school look uh, of course the jersey can't be a hundred percent perfect because look they put you know your friend and mine the lace is there should have put suspenders on it if you're gonna be with the, with the John Canuck here but right here. See if we can get ourselves a little bit look at that three-dimensionalness right here. Really outstanding here in the blue of his suspenders. That is really out there. The little tuft out there on his toque. Beard. Bearded wonder here. It's just a lot of just a lot of the detail in the shirt. The pants. The skate. Stick not so much, but there's a lot of three-dimensionalness, a little bit on the belt buckle he's got right there. So that's pretty damn cool right there. I like that one. 
I like it a lot. So let me throw on old John, then give you a deep dive here. Of course, the fight strap. All of them are white no matter what they are, but you could really tell the difference in the colors there with the cream and the, the, the white fight strap there. So let's look at that. All right. I know the, uh, the Canucks have been having a, uh, a bit of a time this season. A bit of a time with, uh, with, uh, with Bruce being set aside. And you got uh, Tockett out there and trading away pieces. Everyone's available except for uh, Pedersen and a lot of turmoil here. And I was, I'm honest with you, I didn't think we were going to need to go to a full rebuild here. I thought that we were going to, uh, with the Vancouver's, be a little bit further along in the process. But hey, man. Look at how uh, how Buffalo has struggled. Ottawa, be beginning of the season, said that they were out of a rebuild, and look at them now. They're kind of floundering a bit, looking for new ownership. But John, look at that. Got that John. Got that green. I love, I love the colors that they got here with the green down on the on the the cuffs. The off-white and the John. Not a big fan of if you get it customized where you're going to have the number up at the front. I, I don't think that that's, that's needed, but it is what it is. But I know you guys are probably going to be interested in this up-close look right here. So here we go. So we got 2.0 neckline right there. And then you see what I do with the uh, laces so that they get out of the way. And now it's time for some John. John. Look at John. Look at John. John. Those suspenders, like I say, look at the look at the three-dimensionalness on there. On the beard. On the toque. Looking amazing right there. On the skate. Skate's looking good. Skating away. Look at that. Dude's dude's out in the wilderness. Jacking up his uh his his pant seams right there looking good. Look at that. Looking like a champion. A, ch a champion. No shoulder patches on this guy. None at all. But then as you see, just some old school, old school stripes right there. And let me give you the, the stripes down at the bottom. Not much there, but boom, there it is. And then on down, boom, this this one is a nice piece. I am I am glad that I got this one. This one will get into heavy rotation into the streams just for how we rock the Johns. And if you guys don't know what the Johns are, on our Twitch streams, twitch.tv forward slash Steven Larson. Also, twitch.tv uh, MF Steve here. Also, at YouTube. YouTube.com, uh, uh, I guess just search for Steven Larson Pro Wrestling. We'll be there. You'll probably get yourself a good John if I'm on there for a while. Um, but, yeah, it's just it's just fun to say John. John. So, dig this one right here. Now, here's the one that I wouldn't have pulled the trigger on unless... I pulled the trigger on this. Are you saying why? What, what does one have to do with the other? There is a eBay seller based out of Indonesia called Juice Box. Just like, just like a juice box. Just like a juice box. And he was selling this jersey many years ago. With the Heritage Classic patch, I will even show you how, you know, it doesn't look like bootleg patch. This is not a bootleg. Look at the chain stitching. The chain stitching on that is phenomenal. Bought this off of him from Indonesia. 
shipping was 15, 16 bucks or so. But it got to me in one piece and I was like, holy hell, that is not a fake. That is not a bootleg. I did not get burned. I've seen for about a year, he's had a home, I believe Climalite, uh, a whole bunch of uh, Vancouver Canucks jerseys. Had one in my size of 60. I hearted it and I saved it there. And I think it was going about maybe 125 or so. And then got down about 100. Then I got I got a little itchy. But I didn't I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I said, I'm, if, if I miss out on this one, fine. Um, but if I somehow am able to find this thing for a little bit cheaper from Juicebox, I'll go on and do that. I think went down to 75. So... In coordination with this jersey from before, with that price, returning shopper, I felt good. I said, you know what? Boom, let's get that thing done. And I was not planning on giving it its own video, but if I'm roping it in with Vancouver jerseys, and if I'm going to have this beautiful Johnny Canuck, I might as well throw this one in here and like I said this one is from I'm not gonna I'm not gonna demand but if you can see juice box juice box there uh, eBay seller came through all the proper channels um, uh, shipped properly or packaged sorry packaged properly and I'm like yeah you know what let's let's get this done so here we go let's see if the old enforcer is two for two with uh, with juice box here, like I said, just uh, a, a juice box on uh, on eBay is an eBay seller. It's got other stuff on there too. So um, take a look if you're inclined. Not just NHL jerseys, but other things in general as well. So, like I said, I I may I may get bamboozled here. I may not, but at least I got a good enough eye to know if I did or not. All right, so this is an arrow ready. It's not a climb light. This is how it's packaged. Of course, it's got juice box, his, his or hers logo there. So I guess if you see that on eBay, right? Um, all the markings look to be correct. Let me see here. Let me see if uh, if oh, I don't get the good don't get the good rip here, but that's fine. And let me see. Oh, look at that! Backing right off of it. And like I said, seventy-five bucks plus some patience. And here is. Vancouver Canucks home jersey, not with Vancouver on the top either. That's that's honestly why I uh, I held off on um, on a Vancouver jersey because I saw a lot of them cheap that had Vancouver over top of it, and I was like, I'd rather not wear a big old Vancouver and then have this thing here. I'm glad that they switched, got rid of the Vancouver, and just made the uh, the Orca jumping out of the ice. For this one right here so I'll, I'll give you I'll give you the whole tour here like I said came straight from Indonesia but look at that nothing in there 60 it is an arrow ready Indonesia the NHL shield looks as it should here let me even catch it in the ring light there I mean it's it's as it should be Shoulder patches of the time, which is like that single silky material thing of the uh, stick and rink right there. That is the one problem that I see with this is like when you, when you, they tend to want to wrinkle up, especially on the place where it's on, on your, uh, your hanger. And then, yeah, look right here, here is 
Here's here's the NHL doodad down at the bottom where it should be for this style of jersey. Uh, arrow ready, all the good materials, all of this. When was this thing manufactured? Because this will be here. And this one is 02 of 20. Right, right before the old pandemic. And there that is. And I'll show you the, the main logo right there. I mean if you think that's uh if you think that's a fake then then that's what you think but I believe of the time the original reverse retro was based off of off of this logo here and I'm not seeing a difference looking pretty nice here nice blue check this baby for fit real quick take off John but John's getting put back on this this John one looks beautiful here you hold that you hold that for me thank you got <laughs> I got a lot of I got a lot of just little uh, like command strip things just begging for stuff to get put on them and that's why they're there I suppose so let's see oh yeah oh yeah there it is there's there's the Coven. Yep. yeah every, everything has the telltale feel of an arrow ready so Friendos, I know this isn't this isn't a very special one, but just to let you guys know, if anyone was interested in a Vancouver Arrow Ready from Juice Box, this is what you would be getting. Shoulder patch, neckline, and let me give you a real once over for the logo. There you go. There you go. Oh, would you look at that? I'll go over it nice and slow so that anybody that may be on the fence or thinking anything different. And what I'll also do, here is that logo, that 2.0 that I got from Ben H. Just in case anyone is wondering. This one is also, this is a arrow ready, yeah, so it's almost, uh, it is, um, it is a basically a one for one right there. So, there that is. I feel good with what I see and with what I paid from Juicebox on eBay so anybody that has thought sorry about that a little bit of a runny nose um, if there's anybody that has thought of or seen this listing for a Vancouver home jersey from juice box says uh, um, shipping from Indonesia this is what you get my theory is this person either has a connection or does work for somebody or knows of somebody at the at one of these factories that makes these probably got a surplus of them or whatever would have happened and then is just putting them up on eBay cuz they are they are what they say they are it is it's, it's, it's an, it is an Indo authentic Adidas jersey for sure, for sure. But of course, originally you guys were here for the John and this thing, this thing looks magical. 
I, I you know I actually like in comparison having the two because you can see the difference in the blues that they use. The green is is the same green, and of course the cream and and the white are different. But yeah, I'm glad I got this on a deal, and I'm glad I held off uh, as long as I did uh, for that. Let me cover that up for you guys. Um, so I'm done with my jersey unboxing. Uh, appreciate all of you guys for hanging out um, for the jersey unboxing. We'll get into bonding time right here because I haven't talked with you guys and gals in um, about a week, week and a half. So we'll do that. So, uh, friendos, if you enjoyed the unboxing of the Vancouver either one of them let me know your thoughts uh really interested in what you think of uh of uh johnny hockey here or jo johnny canuck johnny hockey is another guy who may have hurt some people's feelings but whatever we're not here to talk about that but yeah in the comment section let me know what you think about this one and um yeah awesome okay bonding time What's up, friendos? Hey, I uh, just want to say all of the friendos that were there for the um, Royal Rumble stream for Steven uh, and Larson and myself, uh, appreciate all you guys. Had an amazing, awesome, strong turnout. Um, hell of a card, too. Uh, also, since then, we had Elimination Chamber. Um, that was a fun one, and now we are right onto the road to, to WrestleMania. This is... Uh, this is the this is the the time to get hyped, you know, to start watching weekly the Raw and the Smackdowns there. Um, but of course, also with the AEW, I think a, a, a next weekend from when I'm going to post this, there's uh, we got AEW Revolution, so we're going to be doing a live stream of that as well. Should be exciting. Uh, Big Red, virtual Big Red will be on the line. Uh, Moses supposes uh, tries to defend um, their uh, their big red uh, championship that they got from the Rumble. Uh, should be very very exciting. So hopefully see you guys there. Like I said, Twitch.tv forward slash Stephen Larson. Uh, YouTube, do a search for Stephen Larson's uh, Going in Raw podcast. Should show up there. Appreciate you guys. Uh, on to hockey. Um, pleasantly surprised on the run that my wings have been on the last uh, uh, six games. I think uh, uh, the last six games they've won five. We've gone five and one. Actually, at the end of the season, end of February, still in contention for a playoff spot. Way to go, man. In Iserman, in Iserman, I trust. I tell you. Um, I thought that maybe we were going to dip. Uh, I'm so I hate when we say we, uh, uh, thinking that maybe the Wings were going to uh, uh, possibly be sellers. I heard that, you know, Bertuzzi was possibly available, some other bit pieces here or there. Now, uh, uh, Iserman has said, right now we're holding fast. Of course, March 3rd, trade deadline. If something uh, between, um, in the next like 10 days or so, something happens where they just implode then I could totally see them be sellers and then trying to somehow weasel their way into a, uh, a good draft pick. I mean, all the years that they were bad and then they couldn't get a top one or two draft pick, why not let this be the year if they don't make the playoffs and then they have like that like 3% chance and then that's the one that hits where they get like a first or a second pick. Um, so it's only right if, if you get paid back that way. Um, all the years of suffering, but then again, it had a uh, decades of uh, dominance. So, a it's the price you pay. That's what that's what Pittsburgh I think is currently feeling now, where you know they're they're a goaltender, their goaltending issues are leading them to a, an area where they're they have Jari, but he can't stay healthy. So you're gonna go and pick up. A goalie in, in the market now, uh, you're not going to find one better than Jari. Um, and if you do, 
I don't know how you're doing creative uh, uh, booking there, but I think like uh, Pittsburgh's uh, one of those teams that are starting to ease their way out of the conversation of being a perennial playoff team. Um, that's just what I think. I mean, you got Sid, you got Malkin, you got you got the pieces from when you were good, but I was starting to see the Wings do this too, where they were holding on to uh, Pavel and they were holding on to... Uh, to um, Zetterberg and just trying to keep pieces around and they were just like kind of screwing up their uh, their near future for a, a chance to continue a record of consecutive playoff uh, uh, makes that I thought like the, the last year that the Wings made the playoffs I was like okay so we're doing all of this we're, we're picking up these guys we're trading away picks and, and, and prospects for us to or for the Wings to make it in the A seed and then get demolished by Tampa. The hell are we doing? Either either, you know, get good or run with the team you have and if who cares about who cares about a streak of making the playoffs? Like, come on, man. To at the detriment of your squad. Ain't no need for that. Um as with the West, West is wide open. Okay, where the East looks like it is a slugfest from here until the last day of the season. The the West seems to be as whoever's still breathing, honestly, because you got so many teams that that are are not in a position to be viable for a playoffs. I mean, all season the Ducks have been who they are. The Yotes are going to be what the Yotes are going to be. San Jose. Um. Vancouver, uh, St. Louis now is 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 now you know oddly giving away selling pieces, but then also possibly looking to acquire. So I think they're looking for a retool, but already they've they've given up the ghost this year. And then yeah, just like around the bubble for the A seed, you know you've you've got you've got so many teams there. That you know, you got the sleeping dog of the Avalanche. They're gonna wake up uh, with their injuries or not. This is this is the fun time here. It's like football for the people that are following uh, the NFL. That's all over and done with now. Now, for those that are into the the winter sports, whether it be NBA or NHL, full focus right onto here, and and that's what I'm gonna do and give my uh, Sundays to uh, my three hour block to my NASCAR go roundy rounds. And uh, the rest of it's just uh, NHL hockey. Um, down with that. I've kind of given up on the NBA. I'll tune in. I'll tune in when it matters. You know, playoffs. Um, only so much time in the day for me to be invested in a lot of stuff. And and because of the side hustle, it is mainly it is mainly the wrestling because I have to be informed on that. And then honestly, every every night uh, of the week has some form of wrestling on it. Um, I was able to do this video here because we didn't, uh, Steve went to a Kings game, um, a Sacramento Kings game. So I had some time because we're not doing smash zone. So I was able to do this. Normally I would be, well, I don't have my watch, but normally I'd be ready to, to, to get my smash zone on. But, um, instead here we are with this video and I'm glad I finally am, uh, unbagged this one. Because this, this is a sweet-ass jersey. I dig this jersey. This is a good jersey. Okay, friendos, that's, that's enough of that bonding. You know, come here, give me, come here, let's hug, hug, hug. All right, two sweets, two sweets, shoulder leans, all that good stuff. Snap a photo. And I'll send you guys up on your way. I appreciate you guys. 29 or so minutes, probably a little bit less. Okay, how about... Um, if you made it to the end, give me a boom shakalaka. Just like NBA Jam. Ain't got to spell it right. Just boom shakalaka. And I miss NBA Jam. Used to rock it with the Hornets, man. Get a uh, morning. And uh, Larry, Larry Johnson. Have Muggsy Bogues sub in. Hit a couple threes. Yeah, NBA Jam. Boom shakalaka. Friendos, boom shakalaka to you. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. And again, I appreciate you making it to the end of this video. 
Thank you so, so much. I'll catch you on the next one, which is probably going to be Vegas. I have not unboxed my Vegas Reverse Retro 2.0. So I'll turn down the lights. I'll make sure to charge it up real nice. And we'll hit those lights and give you guys the full effect of it. I'm sure most of you guys have already seen it. But if you haven't, it's new to you. All right, friendos. Have a good one. I'll catch you later. Boom shakalaka.